Wait. So I've, what? <laughs> I've prepared my bags for the Iron Man. I don't think you can do that. It won't correct itself. Put what it the? the other way. <laughs> a stupid There's camera? A new cameraman. Okay, so this is for the morning. My tri suit, two piece tri suit by Chip which I use a safety pin on so it doesn't, if it falls off, or it won't fall off, because I've had that happen before. My Garmin heart rate monitor, of course I'll have my Garmin on as well. I'll put sunscreen on my face. Lots of lube for chafing. I will make sure to put an electrolyte tab in the water that I'll be sipping as I'm waiting. And these are tattoos for um, body marking, the courtesy of Daryl. So that's before leaving the hotel. And then I will have a morning gear bag. I have my goggles and my um, swim cap. I will drink this Gatorade about, I don't know, within the 15 minutes before starting. Looks starting. like my Gatorade. It is Brian's Gatorade. I will drink Brian's Gatorade about 15 minutes Stole before that starting. Bastard. This is just extra goo in case I need it. All the bags are marked with our. I marked them with my number and put extra on there, so just in case it's easier to find. Um, I'll put sunscreen on, and then I have extra wipes and powder just in case. I'm bringing extra goggles down. I think I'm wearing the tinted goggles because I'll be swimming directly into the sun for the first thousand meters or so. Um, but I'll have this as extra, so sun won't be up. This I check. <laughs> Um, as I'm in the swim start line, I keep the stuff I need and check the rest. When I get out of the swim, I will go to my bike bag, which the volunteer will get for me. Again, I put bright yellow tape so that it's easy for them to see. I will put my, I have a towel just in case my feet are really dirty, but I think we're running through grass. Um, I'll put my shoes on, which are all powdered up because they smell horrendous because I don't wear socks with them. They're disgusting. Um, I will have body glide to put on my feet for rubbing and I'll probably apply more chamois butter just because. Then I have all of my nutrition in here so I'll grab all my nutrition put it in my shirt. I will wear a belt, a race belt on the bike even though it's not required because I'll have a GPS tracker and that's how I'll have to attach my um, GPS so I'll put that on. And then of course my helmet. Ducky will not be going with me. She's just hanging out here for now so I'll put my helmet on. And so pretty much the only thing left in this bag will be this body glide and the, and the towel and the volunteer takes it and I'm off. About mile 68, they will have a special needs station. I hope that I will not have to stop, but just in case, I have two extra tubes in there in case I have flatted before then. I have a couple of CO2 cartridges. I'll have all of this uh, extra on my bike, but if I've used it, then these will replenish. I'll have some extra nutrition. Again, I don't think I'll need it because I'm using what the course provides, so I should be okay. The only things I think maybe I might need, if I lose my um, electrolyte tabs, I forgot the electrolyte tabs I'm carrying in this noon bottle, so I'll have electrolyte tabs. If I drop that or something, um, then I can stop and Did get you get all those electrolyte tabs. tabs? I bought them. They're mine. They're not yours. Don't worry. They're from D2. <laughs> Um, and Advil, I don't, I haven't been taking Advil on my long rides or anything, I shouldn't need them. And socks, just in case I have some sort of foot rub problem. Again, I don't wear socks on my bike shoes, but just in case they're in there. So hopefully I will not have to stop for this, but if I do, it's there for me. When I'm done with the bike, I will get my run bag. So I'll get my shoes on and I actually will have socks that I'll use with my shoes. Um, they're powdered up, but I'll wear socks anyway. I'll replenish my nutrition. I'll be moving to from the um, bump breaker bars and chomps to mostly just gels, although I'll have an extra chomps just in case. This is simply an extra number in case on the bike my number gets ripped up or something. Then I have an extra race belt and number. I shouldn't need that. I will need my hat. And this also is extra if I've got any rubbing or need powder or body glide or band-aids. Um, I also have band-aids in my special needs bag, so. And then if I need a special needs bag on the run, I have extra socks. Again, I'll have socks on already, but in case I'm having a problem, if I need extra electrolyte tabs, and the only thing I think I can possibly see stopping for is 
Vaseline if I've got rubbing going on from being out there for hours and hours. So that is my bag setup. Oh, and my bike. One more thing. And then my bike is ready to go pretty much. Got my number on my bike and I'll have just this big old Aerobar um, bottle that holds a lot of fluids. It's double so it holds um, Perform and then some water and then I have an extra one with Perform in the back and that's what I'll replace as I go through um, the stations grabbing more Perform. And that's it.